welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time i'm gonna be showing you how to correctly soak off acrylic nails so the reason why i'm taking these off is because um with me doing a lot of moving around and redecorating my brother's room um i snagged a lot of my nails so like i know this one's sore and then my pinky like i hit it on something and it lifted from the back so it hurts as well so i'm just gonna go ahead and take them off because i've been again doing a lot and um i don't want to hurt myself so the first thing that I'm going to do to remove my acrylic nails is I'm just going to go in with a tip cutter and I'm just going to cut them all the way down um, to like where the natural nail is. The reason why we want to do this is because I've actually seen people soak off the nails with um, like without cutting them and it's like you're just soaking off unnecessary products so it's like you're wasting acetone so and then i had already broke this um thumb as well i just glued it back on but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and just cut them down i'm gonna try to go ahead and cut this one off so i don't have to remove all of those rhinestones at the tip so i'm just gonna go in with a nail clipper and just go in on the side just like that same thing for the other one All right, just like that. And then now I'm gonna go in and remove the bling. So I'm gonna go in with a pair of nippers and we're just gonna literally go in and remove all of the bling. And it helps to, um, like whenever you're removing the bling, it helps to take them off with like the back of the cuticle or with the nippers. As you can see, I've messed up the tip of them so they don't even like remove anything. So I just use the back of the uh, nippers. But even with my other good ones, I feel like it's easier just um, you know, if you grip the rhinestone with the back of it, if that makes sense. But I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the bling. And then after that, we'll move on to the next step. Alrighty, so I finished removing all of the bling. So next I'm gonna go in with my extra coarse drill bit and I'm gonna file the acrylic as much as I can, like file it down as much as I can. That way it speeds up the soaking process. And also if you have gel polish, then of course you wanna go in and just remove that gel polish, but you always wanna thin down the acrylic as much as you can. That way you're not soaking for so long. Uh, so again, I'm going to be using the extra coarse drill bit and it's a safety one and you can find this one on Amazon and I'll be sure to leave the link down below. So I'm going to use it at like 10,000 RPMs and you literally just want to go in and just file the acrylic. Uh, I'm going to show you how thick, see like this is how thick they are and then I'm show you what, you know, they're going to look like once I finish filing the acrylic down. So I'm just going to go in, you know, just like any other time filing. Um, the entire nail.
Alrighty, so I just finished following this hand. As you can see, here's the difference. I even followed them down, you know, at the free edge because I don't like my natural nails long. So I always cut them all the way down. So this is after I filed. This is before I filed. Um, this is, I'm not sure if you can see the thickness, but they're pretty thin. So that way, whenever I'm soaking, it doesn't take on day because I just hate sitting there with my fingers in the bows. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this hand. Again, this is the Extra Coarse Drill Bed by Pana. It's the safety one. I'm using the Melody Susie Scarlet Nail Drill and I'm using it at 15,000 RPMs. Alrighty, so I finished falling down the acrylic as much as I could and it took a little bit longer on myself but when you're doing it on someone else it's pretty fast maybe like five minutes but you know when you're soaking you'll probably be soaking for like 15 minutes instead of 30 so it cuts down the time a lot anyways um so next we're gonna i'm just gonna go ahead and clean my area um because there's dust and rhinestones and nails everywhere so i'm just gonna clean this up and then after that i'm gonna be using my little soaking bowls and these you can just find on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. And I'm going to use my pure acetone. I get my pure acetone at my local nail supply store. And so I'm just going to kind of fill them up. Not all the way because, of course, my nails are short. So it's not going to take much. Oops. A nail landed in there. Alrighty, so um, after I pour the acetone in here, you just soak your nails off until the acrylic is completely soaked off. Again, since I filed off so much of the acrylic, it's not going to take very long. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hands in here. And also, you could use the little clips with a little piece of ac or cotton ball and acetone and just, you know, let them soak. But, um, you know, I feel like it takes longer when you use these than to just soak them in pure acetone. But whatever works for you best, I know the only downside about this is that you actually have to be sitting down, you know, while you're soaking and with the clips, you can actually move around, but you still also can't do much. Um, or you could even use the um, aluminum foil instead of the clips. You just get the um, cotton ball, soak it in acetone, and then wrap it with, with aluminum foil. And that gives you more mobility as well, but you're still not able to do as much because you have those on your fingertips but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and let these soak um and then i'll give you an update in just a bit Alrighty, y'all so my nails have been soaking off for um 10 minutes now as you can see everything's almost completely gone so you could get like um you know a cuticle pusher and just scrape it off but i'm just gonna go ahead and continue soaking for maybe like another five minutes and they should be completely soaked off or you could also even just you know with your own nail just kind of scrape it off um but again you can just continue to let it soak and everything will be completely gone so i'm gonna go ahead and put them back in here and then i'll update you in just a second Alrighty, y'all so i just soaked for another 10 minutes and the acrylic is completely gone so what you can do then is just get a paper towel and just wipe off anything you know that's still on the nail sometimes you know you'll still have some acrylic on there just soaked off so they are completely soaked off now so what i'm gonna do next of course if you want to keep your length that's completely fine you can just shape up your nails but i like to uh, cut my nails all the way down and as you can see they're not you know paper thin at all they have some um you know strength to them but i still do not like just wearing my natural nails um so i cut them all the way all the way down so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now
Alrighty, so I cut my nails all the way down. So now I'm gonna go in with a hand file and I'm just going to shape them up. Alrighty, so after I finish shaping my nails up, I'm going to go in and just gently push back my cuticles. And I did cut myself with the drill and that's why I say that it's so important to get some stability. Of course, when I'm uh, removing the acrylic with the drill, um, you know, on my right hand, it's hard for me to hold on to, you know, the finger with my left hand. So sometimes I do cut myself, especially on my right hand. You just have to be, you know, really careful. Alrighty, and then after that, I'm going to go in with a buffer and I'm just going to gently buff the surface of the nail because as you can see, you know, it might be just a, not even acrylic, it's just like little rough spots. Um, so I'm just going to go in and just buff my nail really gently. So next I'm going to go ahead and just wash my hands and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so after I washed my hands, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to do a base coat and a top coat and I'm just going to leave them like that. Um, and of course, we're going to cure the base coat for 30 seconds and then the top coat for 60 seconds. Alrighty, so I did the first coat of the base coat, or <laughs> alrighty, so I applied the base coat. So now I'm gonna place them under the light for 30 seconds. Alrighty, so now that I cured the base coat, I'm gonna go in and do the top coat, and then I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds.
Alrighty y'all, so I just did the base coat and the top coat. So now I'm just gonna apply some cuticle oil on my fingers and then I'm just gonna rub it in and that's gonna be it. So this was how I soak off my nails. Uh, of course, same thing that I do whenever I'm soaking off clients' nails, except for, you know, usually when they get a soak off, they get another set put back on. Um, but for me, I'm gonna just wear my nails for a few days or a week or whatever. Um, but again, we just cut down the acrylic nails. After that, we filed down the acrylic as much as we could, and then we soaked them in a bowl of acetone for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then after that, you just shape up your nails, you know, remove the shine, do a top coat, or you can do a new set, um, but that's how I did mine. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at getno32, and I'll see you guys next time.